It's harvesting time at Hunkul Roibos Tea Estate. The branches are cut by hand before being bundled up and laid out to dry. The world's developed a taste for rooibos or red bush tea, with annual exports quadrupling in the last 13 years. The tea is popular for its health benefits as much as its taste, but it only grows here in this small region in South Africa's Western Cape. Rooibos is endemic to this area. It grows wild here and only here. If you go up that hill and down the other side, you'll find that 90% of the plants that grow there don't grow on the other side. Very few plants can survive in this dry, sandy terrain, but rooibos bushes thrive here, living in symbiosis with microorganisms in the soil. Farmers have tried to grow rooibos in Australia, America, even China, each time they've failed. But now climate change threatens to destroy the delicate ecosystem that rooibos relies on. Willem Engelbrecht runs Runkall Estate. He's had to adapt to hotter summers, drier winters and more erratic weather patterns. In the past we used to, we, to, to plough the soil. These days we plough less and we keep uh, material on the soil to act as, a, as isolation, um, basically to, to, to preserve the moisture. But if temperatures continue to soar, farmers like Willem will find it difficult to cope. Climate change experts warn that the Western Cape will be hit hard over the next 100 years. A plausible scenario is a further 3 degree temperature increase over much of this region. At the same time, this region is projected to become generally drier. So that the general picture that is painted for all of the western interior and coastal regions of South Africa is indeed not a very positive one. But those who depend on rooibos for their livelihood are trying to stay positive. This area grows enough rooibos to make 4.8 billion cups of tea each year and demand for the product is high. The rooibos tea business is booming. Farmers just wonder for how long.